Hello, my name is Monica and I'm, I'm from Argo Yachting. Today we are in the lovely sunny southwest coast, uh, coast of Mallorca and I would like to show you around on a fantastic uh, Sea Line T60 that we just about to list for sale. Come on board and I will show you around. Okay, stepping into the Sea Line T60, just mind your head, <laughs> just, it, might be, it might be sometimes tricky, but once you're inside, once you're inside the cockpit, that space is huge, it's absolutely amazing. You can put a quite big table with some director's chairs and you can sit around and dine about up to eight people well, very comfortably. You also have that great feature, that bench is electric and that moves uh, backwards, so that space is then huge and enormous. Also, quite nice feature in, on the sea lines, and I must tell you that is the is the deck wear. It's a it's a solid stainless steel, very good quality deck wear. Now, if you want to join me, let's go to the inside. So here we are. We're stepping to the to the galley dining area and you can notice how easily it connects with the with the cockpit area. You've got a huge sliding doors that makes the space really open and that gives you a little bit a lot of light. Okay, look at that great big kitchen area where you you where you've got lots of space, lots of work to, to work on. And here you've got a nice big fridge. You also have a quite nice big sink a three burner hop and a really nice oven and also there is a dishwasher so everything is in hand quite nice feature here is basically you've got the dining table here so whilst you're preparing everything it's quite nice to have the dinner on the table and ready and there are also on both sides of the of the galley and the saloon we've got a sliding windows, electric sliding windows. So basically it allows you a little bit to get the air through, to get rid of the, the smell sometimes in it that you might have from cooking. Stepping up from the dining area, you get to a really nice and spacious saloon where you can sit down, watch TV and get ritually relaxed. You've got lovely big windows. You also have a plenty of storage underneath those sofas. So it's quite, the boat has been fought really well for, for you to store lots of things on the boat. And here we're coming back to the, to the helm position where you can, you've got a lovely view at the, at the front of the boat. You also get the really nice skylight that brings a lot of light as well. This window opens so you can as well get the light and get the air through. And quite nice and quite important on this size of boat. You've got a nice side deck door that makes your docking and communication with your crew, with your family, much easier and much faster. Coming back to the helm, you can notice that this, it's quite unusual, but it's quite close to the center of the boat, which gives you a really nice visibility on the way. Um, not necessarily for docking on your starboard side. However, there is a quite nice feature, which is the third station, no, in fact, the fourth station at the flybridge, which I will show you a little bit later. Let's go downstairs and I will show you the accommodation. Stepping into the master cabin, as it is midship master cabin, you notice it's it's a four beam one. You've got a lot of space to move around the bed. You've got nice big wardrobes on each side of the bed. Also, for ladies, something quite important. On this side of the bed, you've got a really nice dressing table with a small light that you just make your life easier for to make makeup to get ready get dress yourself. 
Underneath the TV, it's a quite nice feature in this boat, is that you've got a small fridge where you can keep your drinks and not necessarily go back to go back to the kitchen. Okay, stepping out to the ensuite bathroom, you can easily notice how spacious it is. You can you can walk around without any problems. You've got a lot of room to even get to the shower. In the shower is as well, you've got towel arrays and as well full height. And as well, in fact, you can sit down in the shower, which is, in fact, is a bee there, which great feature on a boat this size. Stepping out to forward VIP cabin, you can notice how spacious it is. You've got huge amount of space in here to get dressed, to, to move around. As well, you've got uh, both, on both sides, you've got nice big hanging lockers and behind you is the double one, so it gives a little bit more space to put your clothes in. You would not believe how many storage lockers and places that you can hide stuff on this boat. Here is a, an ensuite bathroom, which as you would expect on this size of boat, you've got everything what you need. You've got a nice separate shower, and the toilet area itself is really really spacious okay and uh, now let me take you to the third cabin which is a single bed but as you can see it's absolutely enormous it's so spacious you've got a nice size single bed but for the size of this boat this space is absolutely amazing also although it doesn't have its own own suite you've got the day head just across the the lobby which, as you would expect, it will have everything and still quite quite big spacious for all your guests to use it as a day head. So you've got three quite big spacious accommodations with two en suite and one day head. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so you get alerted each time we upload any video, not just broker walkthroughs. And if you can like the video, it really helps our channel as well. Okay, step into the flybridge. On your port side, you, you will have a really nice sink, a storage, a nice maker. This is really quite a quite nice feature where you can have your cups, your bottles and also in this area, you have a deck wash outlet, which is quite unusual to have a one on, on the flybridge area. In the middle of the, of the flybridge, you've got a nice, quite big aisle that you can walk on, uh, preparing your food, preparing your drinks. You also have a nice barbecue with some storage downstairs. And quite, I'm not sure whether you remember, but I've mentioned downstairs that there is a fort station, and in fact it is. Look at that, you can dock your boat from here, being to the starboard side. That's quite nice. In here, we've got quite sociable and big dining area, where you can sit with six, eight or people without any problems. And now, Let's have a look at the helm. You've got a lovely, quite big chair, which on both sides of the chair on the drivers, you've got single sitting and you've got the double sitting. So if you ever wanted to have friends and family and join you while driving, that's a great space to be. Also, you can, you've got a really nice sand bed where you, next, to, next to which you've got a, a nice locker to put your sun creams, to put your towels, everything what you want, everything what you need, and that area is, is literally there. As well, coming back to the electronics, you've got exactly the same what you've got downstairs, so all your plotters, all your gauges to make your life easier on the way. So here we are, we've just opened the engine room for you just to see how spacious and how well organised it is. You can literally enter to the engine room, change your filters, walk around it, check, uh, check the levels and everything. You've got two Volvo D12s, 800, 
you also find a, a cola generator inside the engine room and quite important and quite new feature was the gyro uh, anti-rolling stabilizers that was fitted. So also quite important feature, it looks like a storage but in fact it's a, it's a nice one single crew cabin which I won't show you that but the owner is using it as a storage so you'd imagine how big and spacious that would be. All right, stepping to the fore deck, you've, you've got a really nice spacious side decks and also quite nice and important is the fact that it's got these handrails all along the side of the boat, which makes your walking, walking along the boat makes you really safe and, and secure. Also, you can notice here that you've got an access, direct access to the side decks you can open that handrail and basically get access to the side deck very quickly. Coming along to the, to the bow, on both sides, uh, you will get the wind blockers where you can store some ropes, fenders. Also quite a nice feature here is the, the bow cushion. It's a nice decent size where you can just lay down uh, and sunbathe. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me today on this fantastic Sea Line T60. It was a great pleasure for me to show you around. For more information, just go to our website and you will find the, the full technical details, price, photos, drone footage and of course 3D too. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also. Give us a like for this video and we will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.